Good morning, y'all. So, welcome back out to the patio. Um, wanted to take a quick minute to do a flip through of my Foxy Fix ringed planner. This is my everyday, what I've got going on, and the way I have it set up. So, for the month of January, I don't have a lot of stickers and a lot of extra embellishments and stuff. I've really trimmed it down because my goal in January is to get back on track, redevelop those healthy planning habits that I kind of got away from during the holidays and the craziness that was going on in my schedule. So, sat down with a piece of paper. My planner before was like so thick, I couldn't even clasp it. And I realized there was a lot of stuff in it that I never ever flipped over to and I never looked at. So I took a lot of it out. And since I was able to take some of it out, I'm able to snap it now. Liking the Foxy rings a little bit more, um, even though they only have the 30 millimeter rings, um, it's giving me plenty of space. So, this is an everyday. I didn't pretty it up. I didn't take anything out of it. In the front pockets, I have an Ollie clip. You know, I bought this sucker because I see them in planner videos. And they're like 10 bucks. And they're cute, but they're not functional. They really have no purpose. If you put them on the pages, it's too bulky. So, it just kind of stays clipped right there. In the front pocket, I have just a little... Foxy um, paper clip that I got from Daisy Rose, I believe is the name of the shop. Um, that little first shaker card that I ever made with my favorite picture of my husband and I in it. Um, prayer card for an individual that passed away in our family. And then just receipts and extra stuff in the front. Now I did use a pretty piece of paper just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. And then Coffee Monster Co. cards, some more receipts. That's just kind of my catch-all pocket for everything this month. I have my dashboard that I made, another copy of that prayer card. Now, keep in mind, I use the Franklin Covey sized inserts. So instead of a 3.75, my inserts are 4.2 inches, 4.25 inches wide. So I have the Foxy dashboard. I have my card slot. I need to stick my debit card back in it. I got gas last night and stuck it in my back pocket. Um, I have my clear pocket that I made that just has some extra business cards in it. Some of the stickers that I do use a little bit more. And then just something to remind me, 2018 is a new year. This is from the Fox and Pip. I believe it was a digital download. So my dividers this month are from Shelby Lico. And I love Shelby stuff. Everything is top tabbed. And I went top tabbed because I have the new Foxy Fix spiced rings on order. And it should be here probably in the next couple of weeks. I'm anticipating somewhere around January 20th to January 30th, it should ship. So as soon as that gets in, we're gonna dive into that and take a look at it. I'm just so excited. It has everything that I've wanted in a ring, and I'm just really excited to, to unbox it and share it with everybody. So, first section is my inbox, which are the note pages. I have a little piece of vellum. I did add some vellum this time. This is a printable from Fox and Pip, I believe, is where I got this one. And then I have my notes pages. So because I'm not going to be utilizing a lot of stickers and a lot of extra embellishment with it, I took the pattern from the digital paper, scrapbook paper, that was used to make my dividers and added it to elements of the rest of the pages in my planner. So it's an easy way to make the planner cute and still not have it overwhelmingly bulky because of all the washi and all the extra stickers and stuff. So I have the note pages that I added. Of course, my Michaels coupons, which I've done good. I haven't spent a whole lot of time at Michaels. I'm so excited about that. 
My goal is to save absolutely as much money as I possibly can before Go Wild because I want to go to Go Wild and I want to meet some of y'all that are involved in the other Facebook groups and I think it'll just be an awesome opportunity to just get together and fellowship with other women that are involved in the planner community and get some really great ideas. So, Shelby's kits always come with bookmarks and this one is the one with my name. Again, I trimmed the edges of it so it would go in and out. And then the pocket, and I didn't add anything to the pockets. So the 2018 bookmark, and I'll probably have this one in the planner for a little while. I really like it. It's a color that I tend to incorporate into everything that I do. So it should go for quite a while with what I have envisioned in my head. So I have a 2018 overview. Um, this one is, <coughs> I believe it's a Once More With Love downloadable. So, am I losing my focus or are we fogging up because of the, the clouds? Um, I have the Franklin Covey Holiday Observances through 2022. On the back, I was going to do New Year's resolutions and I decided, you know what, New Year's resolutions never work. So I'm going to concentrate more on behaviors that I wanted to stop, behaviors I want to start going into 2018, and behaviors that I'd like to continue with going into 2018. So this was set up for resolutions and I never wrote anything down. So I'm probably going to take the top out of each one of them and do a stop, start, and continue. Um, I have my yearly fold out and it is just marked with a simple little fox and pip bow and a paper clip to kind of hold it together. Another piece of that vellum, um, this little clip came from EXO, or who is this, K EXO K & Co, I think is where I got this, if I'm remembering the name of her shop right. And then I just have my January monthly layout. Again, I just trimmed this off of the side with my cutter and reattached it to the top. Um, this is really easy to do. You can use um, packing tape or just a really nice strong clear adhesive tape if you don't have a laminating machine to do it. And I may do a quick little tutorial on how you can just kind of laminate the edge and get those tabs up there where they're sturdy and stay. So I made a dashboard for January, again top tabbed, and I have my January inserts. So again, I didn't use a lot of embellishment, it's mostly washi. I have the normal stickers that I typically use, and he is in Port Allen today because I like to know where my husband's at on a daily basis and he's not always good about writing things down in his planner. Um, once we get through my day on two pages, we go into my list section. So in the list section, um, this one is artwork from Grumpy Bear and I just printed the vellum out again on my printer. I have my regular planner girl from Cynthia that I've always had. I made a social media tracker. I want to be more consistent in posting on YouTube and Instagram and contributing to the Facebook groups. I think it's really important that we've all come together, let's share our ideas and share our inspirations with each other. My order tracker, again, I just used that paper to kind of embellish it a little bit, my TV shows that I want to watch, my habits tracker, a personal tracker there, movies to watch, the books to read. This is an old one that I was holding on to because I had one order that was outstanding from December but it finally came in. And then again a little piece of vellum. I attached it to a piece of paper because she was like see-through and my printer I don't know, my printer had a mind of its own when I printed it. And my this week, which is kind of out of date. I didn't do it for this week. I was thinking a quick weekly overview. I'm still having a hard time figuring out what I want for a weekly overview. So I was thinking if I did it in a bookmark form and then just attached a pocket to the back and then this is just from the Once More With Love Anniversary Kit. Um, 
It's a good bookmark, but it's, I don't know. I'm just not utilizing it the way I anticipated. I have my house cleaning tracker, another piece of vellum that I printed, and then the accounts information. Um, the pages, again, I just kind of put them in a digital paper print that will follow through with my planner. I have my me section, which is going to be more of my personal finances, not necessarily the household finances. So I have a receipt pocket, um, important receipts not to get rid of. And these are just those dollar spot. I pulled this off of my old dividers and reattached it onto these. They're still sticking. I didn't add any additional adhesive to them. I didn't realize you could reuse them. I was thinking, well, I'll peel it off and I'll have to put some adhesive strips to the back, but they stuck really well. So if you have one that maybe you've only used for a month or so in your planner and you're wanting to swap something out, try just peeling it up really soft and easy and reattaching it. That was like a huge saver for me. Um, again, the clear pocket with my receipts, my checkbook register, and then the bills that are due out of each paycheck. So I love this. This is how I do my financial tracking. Um, what's the pay date? How much do I anticipate my check to be? What's the due date for things that are gonna need to come out of this check? Do I need to carry over some of this check to help cover a larger expense out of my next one? How much do I deposit into my savings? And what's the balance in my savings account? So this is just really easy for me. It kind of helps keep me on track on what the important things are that I need to pay off and take care of. Then I have my work section and the work section is just full of schedules. Um, a little divider in there to section it off between passwords, important phone numbers, a map of my store. And then in the back, oh look, there were those little Jane Davenport, I was wondering what I did with those. These came from a Jane Davenport planner. I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna use them yet. Um, and then I just have a couple of little small sticky pads to jot notes down and throw into the planner as I need to.